Uh, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a grocery haul. I don't know how many stores I'm going to have to hit. I've already hit um, Costco, which I didn't find a lot on sale there. I just found a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did find. Um, here's my receipt. And um, $1.23. There is a pack of socks that... Um, I bought that's included in this order, but um, I don't have them for someone else. I did pick up these. These were on sale, I believe, for like nine or something. Are they nine? How many packs are these? It says, uh, well, it's eight pairs. So it's like a, almost a dollar or something a pair, a dollar a few pennies. That's good. So I picked up these. Um, another one of these buckets for the um outside like i have with the other plants it's pretty big so you can see how big it is so i'll put that out there i also got myself some water excuse the mess it's friday i'm gonna clean it up and doing whatever um and getting stuff ready for the weekend you know how that goes and then the week of course you know gets out of hand two things uh bananas i picked up some strawberry margarita mix to try it has the agave wine in it so i'll try it and i'll probably end up you know adding tequila um i end up getting the yo play yogurts they were i don't remember how much they were but i ended up buying them because i just figured i didn't want to go buy a bunch of individual cups from um aldi so i just end up getting them and these are 24 in a pack with the strawberry to peach um uh harvest peach strawberry and french vanilla because they've been making um, parfaits and such. So I went ahead and got those. And then, of course, artesian bread. Like I always do. If anything, I'm going to get the bread. I also picked these up. They were on sale for $5.99 on closeout. So I just picked these up to add into their nut container. One bag of the chicken. Because I told y'all I'm going to start trying to grill meat and freeze it. So I didn't want to buy too much meat. Because next week I'll probably grill the meat. Uh, so I got the chicken tenders. I did get some of these party wings. They are on sale for, this is $1.99 a pound. But because one, they're on sale for $0.99 cent a pound. I don't know, I want to say $0.99 cent a pound or something. But anyway, I got the party wings. And they were 9 bucks for this bag instead of us paying. We normally pay more, I know that. Um, this is just um, Parmesan. Can you put this over on top of the pizza? Parmesan and um, the pepper spices. I got some tomatoes. I'll probably make something to go on top of my salads because I won't be eating hard food for about a month or so. I'm working on getting some uh, dental work done. And as I get it done, <laughs> I can't eat like hard, hard, crunchy stuff. So I'm just trying to come up with some soft stuff. I got some paper towels, which I know I hardly ever buy paper towels two times a year or so. But I bought them because we have this big, huge cleaning project we have to do. It's not in my house, and so I'm going to need them because um, we're going to have to throw away stuff. We won't be able to. It will be a waste of money to buy towels to throw them away. Um, what else? Oh, and I did get them pizza, and then when I come back, I'll show you the next haul, which will probably be all of these. So they got the pepperoni, which they're going to put whatever they want on it, the arugula, the spinach, whatever's in the refrigerator. They can put whatever they want on it. And then they have the cheese. They can put whatever they want on that, too. So that'll be for later because I'm going to be really busy away from the house. And I just need to make sure they have food. So I'll be back for part two. Guess what I got? All right. So I got another one of these air, um, uh, what do you want to call it? It's an air cooler, evaporator air cooler. It's a portable one and it is energy efficient and I'm excited. So this is from New Air. You know, I've been working with New Air for years. This is actually my second one from New Air. The first one I got was about three years ago and we still use it. It's the one with the water tank. You know how we fill up the water at the ice block and it will cool off the house. And I would brag about this all the time to you all. So I am so happy to have received the new and improved one, honey, the new model. All right, so these evaporator coolers, what they normally do is they just take hot air, right? Hot, dry air, and they circulate it, and it transforms into, like, cool air. So it's like a cool breeze. Um, it's actually cooler than what you would feel coming out of the AC when it's directly hitting your um, skin. And, y'all, we love these. So we have one now upstairs and one downstairs. I actually used it um, while I was cooking today on the stove. Now, what, what they do is they come with these ice blocks. You just put them in the freezer and put them in here when you want really cold air. But most of the time, 
to be honest, we never use these blocks. Every once in a while, I'll dump ice in here, but we really never use those blocks. We just kind of put them in here um, with just the water. Now, they are energy efficient, so you don't have to worry about it pulling on your um, AC and um, your bill, your electric bill is what I mean. So, and then it helps with your AC. Your AC is not kicking on all day because it helps actually cool like whatever area you need. You know what I mean? So, now the one good thing about these two, you can clean these filters, y'all. So, it's not like you buying those back in the day paper filters and all that mess. You clean it, rinse it off when it gets dirty, put it back after it's dry, and you're good to go. All right, so this actual uh, model has three speeds. It has three modes, and you can set the timer for, I think, up to seven and a half hours, which is pretty cool. Um, the water tank I just showed you is actually a gallon point forty-five. I forgot to tell you all that. Um, another thing I like about this fan, it don't just blow y'all, it swings. So the one we have upstairs swings as well. So you turn it on and you can see it. I don't, it's not oscillating, they call it swinging. So the air is actually rotating, not just straight forward, but also out to the sides. And y'all, I love it. <laughs> just a quick uh, tidbit on New Air. New Air is the company that I have my wine coolers through as well as I just told y'all the air purifier thing that we have upstairs in the hallway by the guinea pigs and my other evaporating cooling fan. So we've been working with them for quite a while. So if you have a very warm room that you like to cool down or you have a certain area of the house that always stays like hot, um, this is perfect for that y'all. And this shows you the height right here. I like the look of it actually. It's slender, it's silver and black, it looks modern and sleek. It doesn't look so bulky and big and ugly. So I think this is pretty cool. Like I said, you can put it in a bedroom if you need to or you're going to freeze. <laughs> but uh, I love it. So y'all already know, New Air is the company I've worked with the most. Uh, yeah, so if I brought it to you, then you know it's real. I'm just happy to have one up and one downstairs now. All right, so let's get into the second part of this grocery haul. The link will be linked down below, as well as the company information and their social media. So if you have any questions, hit me up on IG or let me know down below. So I did go to the grocery store and I'm going to Aldi. So this is everything from Aldi's on this side. I did go to Kroger's. They had a lot of buy five, save fives going on. And I kind of tried to get little few, uh, little things here and there. If I had coupons, I would have did even better. Um, I don't have the receipts. Let me see. All right, so let me turn this light on over here. So for um, Aldi's, Aldi's was $89.92. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's pop it over. Um, this is Kroger's. Kroger's was, I say, $39.07. <laughs> Kroger's was, um, I don't know if you see the A320. So, almost $300 for the groceries. And I still feel like we don't have everything, but it's okay. Um, we're going to do um, Aldi side first, so Tara can start helping me put this stuff in the freezer and put stuff up, because I think Aldi's has the most cold stuff, and then we'll go to Kroger's, and then I am going to do um, some veggies today and roast them. All right, so I did get some Waterloo um, sparkling water. I haven't bought it in a while. got strawberry and um, watermelon. Actually, this came from Kroger's. This was on that buy five, save five, so it ended being $2.99 a piece, but let's get to Aldi stuff. So I just didn't have the jalapeno chips, so what I ended up getting is the sea salt and vinegar. So I got two bags of those. Let me put those up. I got two containers of the blueberries from Aldi. They were like a dollar sixty-nine. So we're gonna wash these and put these in the containers for our oatmeal and our fruit um, medleys. Look for the container with the thing at the bottom. See if you can rinse them. Put them in there. Cheese cubes, provolone cheese for sandwiches, wraps, whatever they want them for. I did get a vanilla latte. It does have dairy in it, I think, but um, I needed it. It's been a lot going on. So I haven't uploaded or I haven't been consistent with uploading every day because um, one, I'm doing some mouth work and two, it's a lot of uh, some other stuff going on um, and uh, like a, several emergencies. And we, I'm just like in the middle of it, just kind of work through it. And so um, that's why I really hadn't even really gone to the grocery store. I haven't really been home to do it. So 
that's that. All right, we're gonna try to get back on track. I don't, I don't know how I can right now, but I'm gonna try. All right, so the oranges they were two sixty nine at all. These are two forty nine. So I need to put two bags of these. Go just rinse them off and put them in our bowl uh, for juicing. I got some quick fries for the kids for like lunch if they just want to throw these in the um, air fryer. It says eight minutes. So in the air fryer, probably like six or five minutes. And those those little thin ones. I got some steak fries and some onion rings. So two bags of steak fries, onion rings. I picked up these pancakes frozen because um, I'm in and out the house right now between two houses. So this is uh, just until I can prep my own. You will see a lot of processed foods in the next week or two because um, I don't even know if I have time to stop and, pro and um, prep foods. So there it is. So you got some pancakes. They have um, some bacon, crisp eggs for that. Some eggs to boil for like their egg salads or whatever they use their eggs for when they boil them. They probably they most likely just eat them. Okay. I got spinach and arugula for me. Two containers as usual. French toast sticks. This is what Christopher likes. I got that. I got some spaghetti. And then I got the angel hair pasta at the bottom down there from Aldi's. They always really cheap on these. That's why I like to get them from there. And I like to get these from um, Aldi's because they're really cheap too. They're like $2 or something when you buy these. Even though we have a lot of spinach growing in the garden, I don't have any arugula right now. I also bought some tofu. Just sit there in the refrigerator. I got some um, mushroom slices for whatever wraps or whatever we do this week. I'll be posting as many meals as I can this week on Instagram. So if you are um, are not following me, go ahead and follow me at H2 Natural Beauty. And you'll see like my meals and the kids too. I got some lean turkey. They'll probably have pasta this week. Just sit there in the refrigerator. We'll figure it out. I got some um, pesto. You know, we like to put this on the pasta noodles. Some salmon, which would be for today. I also picked up um, four packs of tuna just to replace some that they've eaten this week. I got the bagels for them for their breakfast if they want them. I picked up some ice cream for them to try. This is Extreme Maximum Fudge Moose Tracks. It's going to be hot for the next couple of days and it's going to cool off. So something to snack on outside. All these ice cream was like, mm, I don't know just that. I don't know if it's two forty nine or a dollar or something. I don't know. It was really cheap. <laughs> I don't know. Just for them to try. They'll want it for a day, then they won't want it. Um, some whipped cream cheese for their bagels. Lettuce, of course, because they like salads. And we'll chop that up and put that up. I got them some flounder for some time this week as well. That goes in the freezer. Some onions for everything that we cook. Bell peppers. I can't wait for hours to start growing in the garden. Some strawberries. One cucumber. Some vegan um, mocha fudge for myself because I think Friday I'm going to need something cold for my mouth. Um, broccoli florets. I got two bags of those. I think I'm going to do a broccoli uh, rice casserole for them um, and then have the flounder someday this week. These veggies, I said I'm going to roast today, zucchini, and the squash zucchini was kind of high. It was like $2 for this. Can't wait for ours to grow, but the squash was like a dollar. So, also from Aldi's, I picked up some crushed tomatoes. We were um, going through them quite quickly when I made my soup and some other stuff last week. So, I just kind of want to replace them, and then I'll get on pantry foods next week. Also from Aldi's, I picked up some um, salsa to go with their tacos they're going to have this week. Right, so let's get started on the stuff we got from Kroger's. I um, picked up some Tylenol just to have in our cabinet. I picked up some mayo for backup. They've been going through it a lot with the tuna and chicken salads. I also picked up um, some creamy um, almond creamer. And this is sweet and creamy. This is always, y'all, expensive, $4.99 or so. I also picked up two more cartons of eggs, just the regular ones, um, not the organic brown ones uh, from Kroger's. They were like 95 cents. So I picked these up for their omelets. I picked up some shredded cheese for their tacos this week, so we won't open this up until they get tacos. I picked up some potatoes for like a mashed potato or roasted potato kind of like thing. I might do this today with the veggies and the fish, so we'll see. I also picked up some taco shells for this week for them. 
I picked them up some chewy chocolate chip um, granola bars. This was on the buy five, save five for $1.19 a piece. When you um, buy any five of the items that are on the sale. Um, they also had these Jello snacks. I picked these up. And these are really huge. These big, huge Jello containers. These were on closeout for a dollar. But they were also on the buy five, save five. So we ended up saving even more money on these. They were less than a dollar a piece. <laughs> But they don't even expire anytime soon. So, yeah. I also picked up grapes. Um, both Aldi's and Kroger's had grapes on sale. But the Kroger's grapes were the red and the um, black grapes. I don't know what color you call these. But they were um, both. I want to say one was 99, one was 89. I just went with Kroger's grapes until we can find some new drops on sale. So, we'll watch these. And put these in the refrigerator. All right, so I also picked up some vegetable broth. I got um, three of these. So uh, when I'll be making uh, like summer soups, I already have these. Picked up some Crystal Light for the kids. They used to drink these back in the day, and I said I would get some for summer for here and there. I got the pink lemonade, and I got the regular lemonade. But normally we just make tea and use like the mint and um, lemon balm from the uh, garden. I also picked them up some almond milk. Got two packs of cookies. These were on the buy five, save five, two. They ended up being like $1.99 a pack. So I got two packs of those. I got two boxes of cereal, the regular Frosted Flakes, as well as the chocolate Frosted Flakes. Picked them up some fudge brownie mix. I figured we'll make some today. We'll see. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time. We'll do that today. I also picked up some... Super crispy tots. These were on clothes out for a dollar too. So this will be fun for them to throw in the air fryer in the morning when they make like their almonds. So they just want something quick in the morning. So I'll pick these up. I also picked up some sauces. I haven't bought any in a while. But I figured I'd just probably mix something real quick with some um, like a stir fry vegetable thing I, I like to do sometimes. I might just use the sauce instead of using all the Asian um, sauces. So I got fire roasted tomato and garlic. I got the traditional sweet basil and a spicy red pepper. I might actually spiralize some veggies, saute them, and put that on there. Um, since I'm supposed to be eating soft foods. And then I picked up this cilantro lime salsa um, by head of this. We normally get the guacamole one. But I figured this might be good on the wrap, so we'll try it. Let me know if you've tried this before, but this was good too. I want to say these were $1.49 on the buy five, save five. And then we picked up some sauces for them to try with their um, grilled meats and their chicken like, tenders they like to dip or whatever. So we got two of the honey barbecues. These won't close out, plus they won't buy five, save five. So I'm going to spend 69 cents a piece for these. These sweet and spicy, I think these are 59 cents for craft on the buy five, save five. I picked up some honey mustard dressing for them. I picked this up for myself, light raspberry walnut vinaigrette. I um, kind of just want to try it out. Never tried it. Why not? And so, yeah, these want to buy five, say five, two for a dollar. I want to say 49 a piece. The last seat from Kroger's, every time they do that little five, buy five, say five with like the snuggle, I try to get the dry sheets. So I got these for $1.99 a piece on that deal. Um, I also, and like this one uh, smells so good. It says, um, What's oh uh, spring burst? This one smells so good. And then the other one is just the original. I also picked up the super care. So this one is not supposed to fade um, your clothes or anything. So we'll see. I'm just gonna pour this in that big jug we have and mix it or whatever. Um, I also picked up some plugins. We use these for the bathroom. I got the Gain um, Moonlight Breeze and the original fragrance. And I also picked up Bora Bora Waters. These were um, $3.99. I normally spend more than that for these. So I went ahead and picked those up. And some extra pads for our cabinet down here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this put up and help them get stuff straightened in the refrigerator. Um, so far, see, still empty. <laughs> still empty. So let me help her with um, what she got going on. She has um, grapes in here. The other grapes are strawberries. Um, the apples. So we need something here. We need some more fruit, definitely. I don't need the bottom. Thank you. 
So, um, blueberries, and we'll probably put something else in here. I went ahead and put the bell peppers in here. We have some avocados left over. All the mushrooms, cucumbers are over here. Um, we needed some more peppers, but I was going to wait because I saw some growing. So I figured I'd just start picking them off our um, own plants outside. Tomatoes, the lettuce, the um, spinach and arugula up here. This is some soup I made for myself. Do this. this is some soup I made for myself. I might add that to this video too. Um, yeah. And then there are eggs and stuff. And that's about it. That's in this refrigerator right now. Alright. So even though I bought a lot, you really can't tell. <laughs> and then down here, it's just our ice. Their waffles. Their hash browns. Uh, biscuits. French toast. And then their pancakes. And a bunch of stuff down here that kind of need to be cleaned out a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. All these bags. And my prep for my smoothies is in there. Um, in here, we have the um, ice going. Yup, we got the ice going for the ice maker. Um, Penny went ahead and put up the yogurts, the jellos, my sparkling waters. I'm going to put some else here. I was thinking about, um, I'll show y'all when I do it. But, yeah, so I have, like, some, what do you call those, um, Stoke coffees down here, my creamer, and then some super coffees for when she needs some super energy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is why they needed the sauce. So Somebody say, why she buy so many? Because we normally buy a big one. That's why. But everything else is okay for right now. Um, in the pantry, I guess you put these up. Yeah, the popcorn is cool, but we bought some more not too long ago. Um, yeah, these snacks are cool right here. And then the nuts. So everything else is, you know, pretty much stocked. Can't really complain about the pantry. We just need to focus on the fridge. Um... I kind of need to just go to H-E-B. Uh, so I might, if I do, I'll let you know.